Um, regular? I know you're... Pr you see, I accidentally destroyed some secret documents while doing some really, really important paperwork. If you're interested in showing me a little mercy, will you please help me collect my data fragments? I'll make sure to repay you handsomely if you help me. Really, I promise. I'll let you borrow my work tablet until all the documents are restored. <laughs> Thanks for all your help. What business brings you all the way here? Was there a problem during the test? I already heard everything from Quant. Please be honest. It's the three regulars from the other testing site, isn't it? Didn't you suggest the crown game because you wanted to send those three to the next floor quickly? And the blonde-haired girl was an acquaintance of a regular in our test. For what purpose are you doing this? Mr. Lero Rowe. Do you know why we gather all the regulars and test them? It's because they're dangerous. You never know who can bring chaos into the tower. Not who, when, or for what reason. The test is not meant to find outstanding candidates. It's to find dangerous individuals. How is that related to the game? I saw the sprout of a dangerous individual among the regulars in this round of testing. Test Director. Have you ever seen someone who's not from the Ten Great Families, or contracted with the Administrator? Freely manipulate the Shinsu while unconscious? I have heard of one such person. From the rumors. Uruk Matsino. He was also an irregular. As expected, unlike that fool Mr. Quant, Mr. Lero Rowe is hard to handle. I've never seen that. It seemed as if the Shinsu attacked her of its own volition. It wasn't that powerful, but the way he did it violates the rules of the tower. He's certainly capable of disrupting the tower. What do you want? You can't just barge in like that while I'm napping. The Black March won't listen to me. She said she doesn't want to speak to a girl. Do something about it! <sighs> yeah? <clears throat> Let's see. Black March? Want to have a serious talk with me for, uh... No! This thing attacked me! Why did she get mad? Damn! To think I'd get rejected by a weapon. Why do you want a weapon that won't listen to you? Don't you already have the Green April? Are you trying to collect the entire 13-month series? You think I'll tell you? Oh, when do surly kids like you ever listen? What? Got something to say? Hey, do you even know who the original owner of the Black March is? Yori Zahard. 
She's the only one of Zahard's princesses to receive a 13-month weapon in the past five centuries. She's a fisherman prodigy who became a high ranker less than a century after becoming a ranker. Even the younger rankers are afraid of her because of her vicious temper. Know your place before you get killed, you fake. Hey, witch! Do you want to die here? Not everyone's as kind as me. I've warned you. I have a question. That girl on your team, Rachel, who is she? I don't know. I first saw her at the testing site and we just happened to team up. <sighs> you teamed up with someone as weak as her? Rachel certainly isn't strong. But when I first saw her, I just felt that I shouldn't fight her. She seems like someone who's lived in a different world. Oh my! You've discovered something that makes this area unique! As you wander around the map, you'll discover hidden locations and symbols. Look for interesting stories scattered throughout various locations, the stories you collect are saved in an album, where you can access them at any time. This won't do. I think the cracks are getting bigger as we replay these memories. If we did that, the regular at the center of the memory, you, would be put in danger. And I can't stop a spell once it's activated. So, I'll make you a talisman that can protect you. Thank you. Now with these materials... Take a look around while I finish this and see if you can find any problem areas. If one part slips, the rest might too. <laughs> Did you know Baum well? Yes. Baum was always alone, and always lonely. He only had me. Mr. Kuhn, please don't tell Baum about me. He only wants to find me. If he does, he won't go up the tower any further. We'd risk our lives to try and save each other. He'll only shackle both of us. 
I don't wish for that to happen. Why can't you just stay with Bom? If he misses you that much... I want to be with him too, but there's something I must do. Have you heard the legend of the top of the tower? You mean the legend that says you can see the real sky? Yes. They say you can see the night sky, breathtakingly beautiful, with stars that look like they'll pour down over you. Even now, when I close my eyes, I can see that landscape unfolding before me. I can't sleep at night. You can say it's merely a fantasy, like trying to catch the clouds. But this has been a dream of mine for a long time. My one goal in life. Fine. I'll think of something to tell Bomb when he wakes up. There you are, Rachel. What are you doing here? Nothing. I'm just looking up. Bomb, at the top of the tower, there's something called the sky. Sky? Close your eyes and try to imagine that all the heavy rocks above us have disappeared and... And what? What's there if they're gone? Open air. That's the sky. And when night falls, the stars rise. And it's not the night that we're afraid of. It's beautiful. The real night. One day, I'm sure to see it. No. Don't go. Don't go, Rachel! <sighs> Are you awake, Bam? Ouch. My head. How long have I been like this? You've been unconscious for five days. Five days? Then what about the test? The test already began two days ago. Then I must have already... No. You didn't fail yet, little turtle. What happened the other day? And that concludes the explanation for the position test. Now, I'll answer some questions. The position is the role that you'll play during battle. The fisherman is an elite attacker, often the strongest member of the team. The spear bearer uses spears to pierce the enemy's heart, restricting or disrupting their attacks. The light bearer uses a lighthouse to formulate strategies and issue commands to the team. The scout quickly charges through the front lines to pave a way for others. The wave controller controls Shinsu to suppress the enemy. There are other positions, such as the guide, but we'll skip those because they're not relevant. You have been assigned to a position based on your performance in the test so far. Starting today, you'll have position training based on your assigned positions. Only those who pass the position test can take the next test. How will the injured candidates take the test? One of my teammates is still unconscious. Position classes keep attendance records, so missing classes will put you at a disadvantage. We can't accommodate individual circumstances. Hey, Turtle! That's unfair! But isn't it his fault for getting injured? Obviously, people must pay for their mistakes. That's it for today. Please refer to the table to see which position you're assigned to. Oh, I almost forgot. For wave controllers, class will start three days late. Wave controller? Isn't that the little turtle's position? That's good news for Bam. If he can wake up within three days... That's what happened. The wave controller position class starts tomorrow. You were very lucky. Huh. 
What a relief. But, um, how's Rachel? Do you mean the girl you saved? She's fine. But Bam, I don't think she's the girl you were looking for. Her name wasn't Rachel, but Michelle Light. And she said that she's never seen you before. <laughs> Th that can't be true. She was definitely Rachel. It was a chaotic situation. I think you were confused. Anyways, look what I got you, Bam. I bought a uniform from Evan Kell's store. Hey, Blue Turtle, what about mine? Read the room, you idiot. And why would you need a uniform when you're a crocodile? What did you say? I could swallow you in one bite! Mr. Kuhn, do you think Rachel lied about not knowing me? No way. Don't be so sad. You'll find the real Rachel one day. Hmm. Hello, everyone. My name is Yuga, and I'm in charge of the Wave Controller Position Class. Shinzo is the world itself. It helps us breathe and sustains our life. This mysterious energy is the source of our strength. And it is essentially the power of God. Those who control Shinsu are closer to the realm of God. Because it is so powerful, it is very dangerous to control the Shinsu. For example, I could kill every regular here. Within five seconds. <laughs> Isn't that scary? That's why you need to get permission from the administrator to use more than a specific amount of Shinsu. This is generally called a contract with the administrator. The same procedure must be taken on each floor or else you'll be restricted with controlling the Shinsu. Mr. Laura, you already contracted with the administrator, didn't you? Well, yes. I don't believe anyone else has contracted with the administrator yet. So let's learn how. Everyone, close your eyes. Set your pocket to visible mode and give it an order. Contract with the administrator. Contract with the Administrator. I'm the Administrator of this floor. Are you here for a contract? Yes, that's right. You look tasty. Okay, let's make a contract. But remember this, you who climb the tower. This is not strength. It is shackles. Oh, you're from the crown game. Yeah, you remember the mask. You woke up earlier than I expected. <laughs> My eye, huh? You did this to me. Uh, I didn't mean to. I just want to know, is she so precious to you that you'd even protect her in your sleep? If you were looking for an apology... No, I don't need an apology. These are the paths given to us. Shinsu is difficult to understand, right? Yeah, I didn't understand it at all. <laughs> but what wave controllers need is not knowledge, it's talent. You seem like you're talented, Mr. Bomb, so I'm sure you'll be able to control it very soon. Talented? I don't know if that's true. Oh, uh, Mr. Ho, were you always able to control the Shinsu? Yes. Although, this is all I can do. That's amazing! 
But this is the limit of my talent. I don't think so. I'm sure you have amazing hidden talent. Doubt it. Hey kid, reach out your hands. Imagine this, the whole world gathering to become a sphere in your hands. <laughs> the slightest. That's talent, kid. Welcome to today's class, Spear Bearers. I like keeping things simple, so this concludes the basics. Today, let's try something more fun. But before we start, why don't you all do some warm-ups? Are you ready? The goal is to hit a nearby target. Do you see that target? Pretty close, huh? Close? You say? Are you crazy? How is that target close? I can't even see it it's so far away. Anyone who hits the target within four days will automatically pass the test. Easy, right? I wish you the best. Nice. I was getting bored. <laughs> I already have ten on my list. What the hell? What trick did you use? I still have less than five. Hey, Isu. Don't forget to buy me food tomorrow. Sleepyhead. You were bribed with food? Make ten friends in a week? Hm. Sounds like the scouts got interesting homework. Hey, Mom! Coon! Don't be like that and, and help us out. At this rate... Hots won't complete his friend list and get eliminated. First of all, you're on the same team as the lizard who took the Black March from Bomb. Don't you feel guilty asking for help after all you've done? I'll apologize for what happened. The spirit of swordsmanship can't justify those actions. And our team disbanded after the crown game. Anak has nothing to do with me anymore. Do you think teammates are something you can throw away when it's convenient? Is that how your spirit of swordsmanship works? Anna caused our team grief as well. Don't talk as if you know our circumstances. You're as trifling as those decorations hanging from your ear earrings. Uh, stop it! Hey, Hot! How many times do you think you've been turned away because of your attitude? Come on. There's no need to scowl all the time. We have to pass this test! 
It's impossible to negotiate with someone who disrespects the Swordsman's code. Oh? Well, at least we can agree on that. The sooner you fail the test, the sooner I can stop seeing your ugly mug. Hey! Hots! Excuse me, Mr. Hots? Let's be friends. No, Bomb. These chumps are just looking for names to put on their sheet. That's not a bad thing, right? Even being friends on paper would be nice. I've never had parents. Or a home. All I've ever had were the clothes on my back. So, you know, I'd always thought that I'd die alone, without having accomplished anything. But now I have all of you. So thank you, everyone. Um, you... Fine, I'll do whatever you do. R really Thank you, Bomb. And you too, earrings. Now that we're friends, I'll help you fill out the remaining spots, Mr. Hots. Mr. Cook, do you want to be friends with my friend, Mr. Hots? No. And we're not allowed to interfere with the test. Those are the rules. Ah, okay. Sorry. Um, Ms. and Dorsey, would you like to be friends with Hots? Are you trying to set us up? Uh... I'm sorry, but no. Dating is forbidden in my house. My father just cares so much about his daughters, you know? Hanging out with these guys? <laughs> I didn't know Zahart's princesses stooped so low. Z Zahart? Dorsey, are you really a princess? Then, is Anak your sister? We're not really sisters. Easily put, we're like luxury shoes displayed in the same shop window. Shoes? Yep. Beautiful and valuable decorations. That can't go anywhere on their own. Anyways, that's why I don't think we can be friends. I have to go to my fisherman lecture now, so bye! Welcome to the stage, fisherman! To make it fair, everyone will receive a needle for today's test. The rules are simple. Be one of the last eight combatants remaining on the pillars. Don't fall and make others fall. Easy, right? <laughs> As you can see, if you fall from this height, you'll likely die. Or at least be critically injured. And then what happens, hmm? You won't be able to take the next test and will probably get eliminated. So let's get started! Everyone's got cold feet after learning you could get eliminated. I guess there won't be anyone stupid enough to attack me. I won't gain much from moving around, so I'll take it easy and... Mm -hmm. Gosh, do you have the IQ of a lizard too? You know I'm a princess of Zahard, 
And yet, you want to fight me? I'm here because you're one of Zahard's princesses. Can you stop yapping about Zahard this and Zahard that already? It's getting really old. <laughs> you think you can beat me without the Green April? <laughs> Don't underestimate a real princess of Zahard. How funny. Was there ever a real princess of Zahard? <laughs> How absurd! You think you've become a real Zahard because you're using his name? I don't know how good of a knockoff you are, but... A real one is obvious when you try it on! Bong bong. Found it. Anak Zahard. She was chosen by Zahard after becoming a ranker, received the green April, and... Huh? She's already dead? Did everyone make it inside their lighthouse? The lighthouse is the center of the battle. This is where all information is collected and all the orders are issued. Your lighthouse is connected to the network of the administration office. Let's try a simple exercise. Control the cubes in the lighthouse to find personnel information. What a boring class. Anak Zahard. There's something about her that bugs me. While she is certainly strong, only chosen ranker princesses can receive a weapon from the 13-month series. Wait. Only rankers can receive a weapon. But she's just a regular. You're going to keep fighting? I'm stronger than you could ever hope to be. <sighs> we'll see about that. Fine. I'll admit that you're impressive. Your power is just like a princess of Zahard's. But you still can't be Anak Zahard. She's already dead. <laughs> Anak Zahard. One of the strongest princesses ever known. She quickly gained recognition through her skills and acquired the Green April. But then she fell in love with a guy. They loved each other in secret, and she had a baby. It's a crime for Zahard princesses to marry, or give birth. When he learned of it, Zahard became furious, and the two were found and killed under his orders. But Anak Zahard's Green April was never recovered. And yet, it was in your hands. You're Anak Zahard's daughter. My niece. Don't call me that. You really talk too much.
My princess. Oh, sweetheart. You're the most beautiful jewel in my life. Come with mommy. It was me. Did our little princess find another gem? Mom, did you fight with Dad again? <laughs> Don't say it like that. People will think we fight all the time. Mom, why did you marry Dad? He always say that if you didn't marry Dad, you would be the tower's biggest celebrity princess. <laughs> You're right. I was tricked. But in this world, there are some paths that you have to follow. Even if you know what you're leaving behind. Sweetheart, you're the most beautiful jewel in my life. Now, should we go eat the lunch Dad made us? Okay, I like when you fight with Dad. He makes us chicken pot pies. Well then, I should fight with him every day. You already do, Mom. My mom was happy. She liked chicken pies. She lived with an excellent cook who knew the best way to make them. The only misfortune she ever knew was the death of her favorite chicken pot pie cook at the hands of her own sisters. That's why I entered the tower, to avenge that cook. And to do it, I'm going to kill every Zahard in this tower. That's my only goal. Because I am Anak Zahard. Bong-bong! Come in with 
me, lizard! <laughs> Let go of me! <laughs> My legs. I knew I should have gotten insurance for them. Insurance for your ugly legs? Uh. Hey, did... did my sister regret it? Don't let go of his hand when you follow him, okay? My beautiful daughter. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you. Don't cry, okay, sweetheart? You'll get a scolding if you don't stop crying and go. <sighs> Thank you. Maybe. That's not an answer. I guess I wanted to be certain. Don't you think it's strange, Turtle? <laughs> There's no way I can't hit some silly target. I'm Rack Wraith Racer! Someone even passed in one try! Your opponent was me! Thank you.